breakfast. In this case, I'm doing that from Windows Admin Center. I'll add a new VM and configure that how I normally would with a name, vCPU count, memory, network, and storage configs. And once that's up and running, I can connect to the VM. In this case, I'm using remote desktop to show you everything. But you could also script this entire process. And now I'm in my Windows 11 VM and I'll head back to the Azure Virtual Desktop portal. In this host pool, I'll generate a registration key that'll be used with the agent running in the VM to connect it and establish a secure relationship with this particular host pool. So I'll copy the key, then I'll head back to my VM and run the required agent, accept the license agreement. And next, I'll paste in the registration key from my clipboard. And that's gonna ask me to elevate with admin credentials, of course. I'll also install the agent bootloader as an administrator, and that will just take a second. Once those steps are complete, this VM is part of the host pool. So I'll refresh the blade, and now you can see that total machines count is one.